Hello, my dear students. I am teacher Wilma de la Cruz and welcome to Mathematics 9 subject. But before we start our lesson for today, you need to prepare first a ball pen, a notebook, or any paper that you will need to take down all the important key terms in our lesson for today. So we're going to tackle for today about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So let's have first a review about the standard form of quadratic equation. So we have quadratic equations can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where ax squared is the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and c is the constant term, where a, b, and c are real numbers with a is not equal to zero. So take note that the standard form for a quadratic equation is in descending order equal to zero. So when we say descending order, as you can see here, the exponent of our quadratic equation. In ax squared, which is the quadratic term, the exponent is two. And bx, as you can see, there is no exponent and automatic that the exponent of x is 1 and c there is no exponent so we have here the examples of quadratic equations we have p squared plus 81 is equal to 18p x squared is equal to 9x minus 18 and y squared is equal to 25 so as you can see, these are the quadratic equations but not yet in standard form. So we're going to transform these three equations into standard form. So the first one, p squared plus 81 is equal to 18p. We're going to subtract both sides by 18p so that our outcome will be p squared minus 18p plus 81 is equal to 0. The next one, x squared is equal to 9x minus 18. We're going to subtract both sides by 9x and add both sides by 18 so that it will become x squared minus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. And the last one, we have y squared is equal to 25. As you can see, there is no linear term, but still it is a quadratic equation since the exponent of y here is 2. So we're going to simply subtract both sides by 25. Our standard form will be y squared minus 25 is equal to 0. And now we're going to the zero factor property. If a and b are real numbers and if a b is equal to zero then a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero in this first example the equation is already factored and is set equal to zero to solve simply set the individual factors equal to zero Okay, so we have here quantity x plus 3 multiplied to quantity 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. As you can see, it was already factored. Now we're going to set the individual factors and equate it to 0. So we have now the first one, x plus 3 is equal to 0. And or the second one, we have 2x minus 1 is equal to zero we're going to simplify these two equations so let's have first this equation we're going to subtract both sides by three so the outcome will be x is equal to negative three and then for this one we're going to add both sides by one so the equation will be 2x is equal to one and in order to get the value of x here we're going to divide both sides by 2. So the answer will be 
x is equal to 1 over 2. This one is just the same with our answer here in above. So the solutions are negative 3 and positive 1 half. Next example, you must first factor the equation. Notice the first or the familiar pattern after factoring set the individual factors equal to 0. So the example is 9x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. As you can see, there is no linear term in our equation. But notice this, that this equation is a perfect square. So the factors are 3x plus 2 multiplied to 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So these are now the two factors of our equation. 9x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So we're going now to set the individual factors and equate it to 0. So we have 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. The next one we have 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. For this one, 3x plus 2 is equal to 0, you're going to subtract both sides by 2. So the outcome will be 3x is equal to negative 2. And for this one, you're going to add both sides by 2. So the outcome will be 3x is equal to positive 2. In order to get the value of x of these two factors, you're going to divide both sides by 3. So it will become, for this first equation, we have x is equal to negative 2 over 3. And for this, 3x is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 3 x will be equal to positive 2 over 3. So this will be now our solutions. Negative 2 over 3 and positive 2 over 3. Next example, you must set the equation equal to 0 before factoring. Then set the individual factors equal to 0 and solve. So we have x squared minus 27 is equal to 6x. We're going to transform this first into standard form. So in transforming this equation in standard, in standard form, we're going to subtract both sides by 6x so that it will become x squared minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0. So we are now ready to factor this equation so focus on 27 and 6. So in 27 you will um, identify what are the factors of 27 or let's say what are the two numbers that if we multiply the answer is 27. So the first one we have 27 times 1 or 27 and 1 and the other one, we have 9 times 3 or 9 and 3. On those two factors, which of them that if we add or subtract, the answer is 6. Okay, very good. So the factors are 9 and 3. Okay, so we have here now the factors x minus 9 multiplied to x plus 3 is equal to 0 y negative 9 and positive 3. So as you can see, if you simplify negative 9 plus 3, the answer is negative 6. Okay, next, set the individual factors and equate it to 0. So the first one we have x minus 9 is equal to 0. And the other one we have x plus 3 is equal to 0. So for this equation, we're going to add both sides by 9. So the outcome will be x is equal to positive 9. And for this one, we're going to subtract both sides by 3. So the answer will be x is equal to negative 3. Next, rewrite this example in the proper form. Notice that the leading coefficient is not 
1. Use an appropriate factoring technique, then solve as you have done before. Okay, so we have 2x squared minus 3 is equal to negative 5x. Let's transform first this equation in standard form. So we're going to add both sides by 5x. So it will become 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. So as you can see, our leading coefficient or the a here is 2. Unlike those examples a while ago, we have a leading coefficient of 1, but now it is 2. So you're going to undergo to a trial and error. So we have now the factors, which is quantity 2x minus 1 multiplied by quantity x plus 3. If you want to check if this is the correct factors, of this equation you just simply apply the foil method and you will get this equation now let us now set aside the individual factors so we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 and the other one we have x plus 3 is equal to 0 and now if we simplify those two factors it will become so from 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, you're going to add both sides by 1. So it will become 2x is equal to 1 and divide both sides by 2. So the answer is x is equal to 1 over 2. And the other one, x plus 3 is equal to 0. You have to subtract both sides by 3. So the answer will be x is equal to negative 3. Okay, so in solving a quadratic equation by factoring, we have the following steps. So the first step, you're going to write the equation in standard form. Again, a standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Next step, factor completely. The third step, use the zero factor property set each factor with a variable equal to zero and the last step solve each equation produced in step three so those are the steps on how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring i hope you understand now our lesson for today and you are now ready for our practice so solve the following quadratic equations by Factoring. Number 1, x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Number 2, x squared plus 7x minus 8 is equal to 0. Number 3, x squared minus 12x plus 36 is equal to 0. Number 4, c squared minus 8c is equal to 0. And number 5, quantity 3y minus 5 multiplied to quantity 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. You may now answer these practices on your notebook. Good luck and God bless!